So this is interesting. What's happening here is uh, some activists outside the Keen Activism Center have been approached by uh, some strangers who have some complaint and they are trying to resolve their things peacefully. Um, Black F-250. Apparently the complaint is that someone touched a truck. Would you like to talk to this gentleman? Not particularly. Uh, he's asking you to speak with Garrett. I'll try not to. Why did you come out here on a Saturday evening, may I ask? It's the only time I can catch up with you guys. Do I know you from something else? Yeah. Why are you engaging with me? Because you put a tire on my truck. Okay, well, well I, that's free speech. I engaged engage with you. Yeah, I know who that is. I'm not interested in engaging with you, sir. Then could you not put tires on my truck? I'll do my best to remember not to, but I can't make any promises. So. I'll do my best to try to not be an asshole, but I can't make no promises. You know who it is. This guy's trolling you. You don't need to talk to him. Uh, I think we should, if someone has a concern, I think we should um, yeah, I think listen to it. I'm not being legitimate? I think you guys might know who this is. I think we ought to. Yeah. I think, it'd be yeah. I think it's to, to be fair. You know how legit I am. I put a guy on the phone on this board. You know how legit. Remember that? Just yeah. be and you look at each other. Don't need to tell anybody anything else. That's still like that. I don't want anybody touching my truck. I heard you. I'm not you in know, charge. Um, if someone touches your truck. Do you remember that phone call out of Florida? I'm from Florida. Okay. Um, okay. You know, I just look, don't want anybody touching my truck. I heard you, Rodney. He, he says that we shouldn't be engaging together. That's his whatever opinion. he's doing. He, he's not in charge of me. I'm not in charge of him. If he touches your truck, it's not my fault. It's not any of our fault. You need to take it up with him. Yeah. And now he's told you he's going to do his best not to put something. Yeah. He's going to try not to. So this hop, what's this guy? He's the one that's got the lamp. He's already down. He's up there. What's his name? One video came from us. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a lamp or goes to the brickyard. Oh. No? Well, this is a different. I like guys with the car with the brick yeah. You know the guy with the braids? Um, oh, I like guys with braids. You want to videotape on the side, please? Huh? No, I'm just going to ask you. I think I've been referenced in this conversation, but uh, it seems like this person is asking that someone not touch his truck, and uh, seems inebriated. Seems like the problem that's happening is a dispute about Robin Hooding and a man who doesn't want a card put on his truck when someone feeds his empty parking meter. Uh, he was upset that someone left a card saying that they had fed his meter and he doesn't want anyone to put a card there anymore. So he came by at it's uh, 11 p.m. on a Saturday night to complain about this um, at Robin Hood headquarters and uh, a few people are hearing his concerns and uh, explaining that he, there's no one person who can spread that message around and not put a mess uh, not put a card on the truck but instead the solution is to 
put a sign on the dashboard saying like please don't leave a card here or something like that so the conversation continues I've never even Because there, there are people that have gone around claiming, oh, we're free keen, and they're not. Well, he so, came here and I'm not free keen. Originally, I'm he came here last year saying a Robin Hooder attacked him on the streets. Cool. He showed us the video of it, and I said, I don't know who that guy is. Then I looked a little further. And, and you said it was the guy same guy that stole your flag? From the front porch. From the front porch. Oh, we, we went to, I went a little farther, a little farther more to find out, you know, all about it. Is he still around? Um, he talks to me once in a while, I saw him. Yeah, so we've, we've seen him around, you know, with with certain people who we've been videotaping. We've See, we've been, I think it's good, I think you should videotape. Yeah, you should videotape. I mean, don't, I videotape everybody. If you have someone you're concerned about, you should videotape. I do. I mean, okay. I have so many of them. It's, it's, it's incredible. I just want to be left alone. Me too. You know, and, and I'm sure we all have better things to do in life. You know, I have better things to do than stand here. Yeah. That would have people videotape me because all I want is not touching my truck. I think I have that right. You know, I, I don't know what rights everybody thinks they have, but you know, you have your ideas that you're gonna put money in the meter. You're gonna harass the meter maids and this and that. Okay, no, no, I'm just saying, I've seen some of the videos. Well, first so, of all, I think you should know there's one video that's been going around that has this guy, Chris Cantwell. He's coming back to clean. He's not affiliated with us. Take that out of the state. That's not allowed to do He calls himself an asshole. He calls himself an asshole. Yep. He's one of the primary videos that gets shared that says, Freaking yeah. harasses meter maids. Right. He's not with well, Freaking. He was allowed I, I to have, walk with them. I have, I have videos. Yeah, he's the I've seen, Paul, he's got really I've seen you know, some of the videos of certain people in, in the meter maids' faces that, that come to the house. Right. You know that as well as I do. I mean, if you go look at all your videos on YouTube, you'll see with the, the right, in the, right in the face, you know? Okay? I mean, that's all right. Whatever you do. No, it's not all right. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. And you shouldn't have to. I think the mean, there so, are some Robin Hood so people who are being responsible. So if you want me to respect what you do, you right. have to respect me. Okay? And you don't, don't worry about everybody else in New Hampshire. The situation is with me. And if it's only one person, you have to please to keep, you know, peace with everybody. And you should do it. Because, I mean, I think I, everybody's trying here, trying really to, I was going to, to friendlies, to and it's going to close, so I stopped, you know, I stopped my evening to have the conversation with you. Yeah, and I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. And I know that he's been drinking, and he can't, you know, oh, he right. doesn't want to talk tonight, because right. he's been drinking. Everybody else has been drinking, too. You know. Not me, I just got on. No, I know, I know. I still think there's one here. But, uh, I know. what I hear from people here, you know, just observing this conversation, that people are willing to work with you. But, it, but what I don't hear from you is that you're willing to go and just write a handwrit handwritten note and put it on your dashboard. That's all it would take to solve this problem. But see, you're asking, see, Ian, you're asking me to do something. You've come here. What's the difference, what's well, the difference of me writing you're, the you're paper? You're asking us to do something, and <coughs> I'm saying we're going to comply okay. with that. So, we're, But to do that efficiently, to do we that, have to. This I have to help do it us. your way. This would help us. No, I'm not no, saying no, no, that. No, no, I'm no. saying if you have an alternate solution, I'm, I'm going to listen. The alternate solution is not to touch the vehicle. I don't want cars on the vehicle. Well, how is it have to be able to recognize the vehicle? I understand that. So there's Whose ways property is this? Right. But Whose have property to, is So if you yeah. don't want people walking on your right, land. If I go over and I sit on your property, get on your car, lay on your car, whatever I want to do. Ian has to tell you be, to move. But you're saying, saying, state you're to saying you, two different I things. I don't want you on my property. You're saying, don't and touch I a, have told Yeah, but them. you have to post a sign up. You've got two so contradictory you land, things. Like, you've got a sign on here. But you're saying two contradictory things. You're saying, don't document my vehicle. So anybody can trespass on your property? Well, I haven't told you not to, so you're welcome to come up. You know. Came up um, last year and we chatted with you on the board. Yeah, and I stayed away for a long time until the issue evolved again, that I have an issue. And I don't want to deal with it. If I didn't want people on the property, I would post signs up, but it doesn't matter. 
I, I, I haven't had a chance to talk to you, but I, you know, I, you, I have no problem with what you guys do, okay? The problem I have is I just don't want it to me because it's a personal matter. I don't want to deal with it. Usually that should, usually that right there should stop them from robbing it. But yeah. you're saying the ones that don't stop you. I've made mistakes where I've put coins in. I've never put a card on an eight cap. So I'm surprised that happened. It yeah. sounds like it was an honest mistake, Robbie. And, and, and it could have been. Um, but the person that did it can't even live up to it. He's hiding over there. You know, I chased. I, we went down the road, and I asked him if it was his day. I videotaped him all the way down through. I said, "Please don't touch my truck." You know, um, he. Well, you can find that video on the internet, sir. It's been up since it was filmed. What's that? You can find that video on the internet. It's been there since it was taken. The one I took of you? No, the one I took of you. Oh, yeah, I got a nice video. Of him. <laughs> so, Rodney. I'm not Garrett. I'm not in charge of Garrett. Garrett's not in charge of me. So you've got your work, his work, from, you know, on this situation. There's not much else we can do here tonight. And I'd like to go back to work. So. That, yeah, you're gonna leave my vehicle alone. I think that's the I'm hardly ever out. I've ne I, last time I did Robin Hooding was six months ago. I have more to do with Robin Hooding than Ian does. And nobody even knows me. That's what you think. Okay. I, like you guys, I make it a habit of, you know, checking everybody out. Mm. You know, um, you know, they want to videotape me. I checked Ian's complete background, wanting to change names and everything through the state and where he lived, where he came from, what schools he's gone to. I want to change my name to Kitty. And so I, I, you know, I do the same thing you guys do. When I feel threatened, I check everybody's background, see if they're child molesters. I go right to the, the whole nine yards to make sure I know who I'm dealing with. Okay, Rodney, what did you find out about me? Did you find out that I was uh, raised on the military barracks until I was 14? Did you know that most of my family is actually either in the military or police force? In fact, one of my uncles is a police officer here. Yeah. Did you know that one of my uncles is a judge in Manchester? Do you really know anything about my background? Ooh. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it you know inspires, inspires me to check, out, check it out. Do you know about Please Andrea's do. background? Please and do. Greg? Oh. Greg stealing ten thousand dollars from a local business by ordering fraudulent checks. Andrea Parkhurst Whitcomb, the lead, like the, the founder of Stop 15. I don't think he's involved. You're not talking about Stop 15. I, I'm wondering if you're involved in Stop 15. No. That sounded like a joke. No, no, um, no. I, I just. I'm a simple person. I just want to be right. left okay. alone. Yeah. I just want to be left sense. alone. Yeah. Um, what videos I take are just in case I have to end up reporting with you guys. Right. You know, or something bad happens, at least there's, you know, 100 videos. Right. I'm with you, man. Um, yeah, you video. know, yep. and, and that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. You know. You've never had anybody all, here oppose you taking All I ask is that you not know, touch my truck. Right. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. You know, um, it sounds like it was a mistake. If Robin Hooders, I didn't even know Robin Hooders weren't supposed to leave cards on. Uh, so I've learned, I've learned something here tonight. Yeah, sure. I didn't know. I, obviously, I'm not doing this often enough, right? I didn't know that a Robin Hooder isn't supposed to leave a card on somebody with a handicap. Uh, so they're they're also yeah. the senior center. They have special things that they put in their window. They don't have to pay for parking. Uh, people who park uh, in the off street lots, they have those little placards that they put in. Uh, like Wall Street, so we don't fill those. So it sounds like it was a mistake. Maybe somebody didn't notice your hanging thing, or maybe it was off. We, we, were, we were sitting in the truck when it was Okay. We were sitting in the truck. I, 
We, I had the video of it, and I guess I'm going to have to show you that. We were sitting in the truck. I believe you. you look at the to. video. He has the video. He said he put it on YouTube. Yeah. Have you seen it? I'm not going to buy it. I'm not watching, no. I'm not going to buy it. I believe you. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. We I all believe, believe you. Well, yeah. I believe you. I'm not going to bother to really watch the videos because I believe what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I went and right after you. And you've communicated to him now. Yeah, and he, he doesn't want to listen. He listened to you. He said he would try his best not to, or he'd do his best not to. What else can we do tonight? No, that's it. That's it. Alright. So, if I'll, there's a problem. I'll meet up with you. Okay. Well, uh, have a good evening. Um, uh, do you want a phone number? Or you have a phone number we can call you? Yeah, sure. I'm going to get a pen and paper. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah. Alright, I'm going back to work. Good night. Nice to see you again. See ya.